Today we are boarding Saipem's incredible 37,000 ton semi-submersible drilling vessel. Welcome aboard Scarabeo 9. I'm Silvia, a geologist, and with Generation STEM, we want to take you behind the scenes of one of the world's most advanced offshore drilling platforms, capable of drilling wells up to 15,000 meters deep. Before going on board, we put on our personal protective equipment. With around 200 people on board, safety is a priority. Let's meet Emanuele Bracci, rig manager of Scarabeo 9, my guide in this offshore engineering journey. Scarabeo 9 was launched in 2011. It has completed operations in many areas of the planet, from the Gulf of Mexico to Western North Africa, and even the Black Sea, where they had to lower the towers to pass through the Bosphorus Strait. We reach the driller cabin, the operational heart of the platform. From this chair, the driller controls the equipment and guides the activities. Drilling is done with a rotating chisel that breaks through the rock. This is connected to special rods, each about 12 meters long. The rods are then added during the drilling activities in order to reach the desired depth. But the real revolution is artificial intelligence. Through smart cameras, AI algorithms analyze in real time the movements of people working in the area, identifying dangerous situations before they become accidents. In short, the future of safety is already here. From the main deck we can now see the blowout preventer, the equipment designed to control and seal the well. Right in front of us there is an ROV, a real underwater robot that can operate even in ultra-deep waters, reaching depths of up to 3600 meters below sea level. In short, it's like flying a drone in the depths of the ocean. Then we pass through the setback, where the drilling roads and catwalks are stored. These catwalks are like sled that allows the necessary equipment to be assembled. We reach the shale shaker room, where these sieves separate the liquid part of the drilling mud returning from the well from the debris generated during drilling. The liquid part is then stored in tanks and sent back to the well, creating a closed circuit with the drilling rig. Meanwhile, the ship's operation is powered by four engine rooms and eight diesel generators. The secret to staying still in the middle of the sea? Azimuth thrusters. These are on the water propellers that keep the ship in position above the well and whose control takes place directly from the deck. I say goodbye to Emanuele and climb back up this enormous structure. As I emerge from this concentration of technology, I think about the amount of courage and innovation here in Scarabeo 9, a star in the future of energy and capable of taking on the ocean.